the US has put forward this proposal of a, a transitional and interim government in which the Taliban would play some role. You see that as a, a positive development? Peace can only come through such an arrangement if uh, the Taliban and the Republic side want to end hostilities. There are only two ways for that. One is that the Taliban agree to join the current government. The Taliban don't agree to that. Then the only other option is a transitional arrangement in, in which both sides agree on a functioning system uh, and then through that functioning system work for the amendment of the constitution. At the moment though, President Ghani says there needs to be elections. You can't just conjure up a government out of nowhere. Is he, does he need to be more flexible, you think? Uh, well, for, for peace, of course, uh, we, we, we all uh, need to be uh, very, very flex flexible. Uh, for all of us, uh, the country and the life of our people should be the priority. He wants an election. If the Taliban agree to that, it's good enough for us. It doesn't seem to be any sign that the but Taliban... But if that doesn't to... happen, then what do we do? We agree with him that there must be an election. But if that doesn't happen, then we allow the country to uh, keep uh, staying in this uh, very unfortunate conflict. And no, uh, in that case, it's upon all of us, including President Ghani, to think of an alternative. And once you step away from transition governed by elections, you don't know when you're going to see it again. The Afghan people want a democratic setup. Uh, we are simply think, talking of a period in which an arrangement can be made for all the Afghan sides to get together and form unity. And through that unity, a functioning order to take us to the, to the, to, to the next democratic order. There seems no indication that the Taliban are willing to accept democratic elections, whether it's now or whether it's in two years' time, do, do you think? Uh, I have had no indication that they will say no to elections. Elections are very much Islamic, uh, if that's the concern. In an interim or transitional arrangement, could you, uh, do you envisage a role for yourself, perhaps another presidency no. for yourself? No, no. No, not at all. I've had 14 years of, of uh, uh, my time in office, and that's plenty enough. Well, you seem quite categorical. So that's, that's very, very difference. categorical. Very, very categorical. What I'm working for is not politics uh, or a political role. What I'm working for is peace for our people. It seems almost inevitable there will have to be at least some rolling back of the progress made on women's rights in order to bring the Taliban into any kind of power sharing arrangement? Not necessarily. How can we not allow Afghan women to be part of our uh, political and social life? They are and they will be. But then if we're looking at retaining democratic elections, retaining women's rights as we currently have them, all things that many in the international community and many people here in Afghanistan would of course welcome, what is it that is being offered to the Taliban that's going to bring them in from the outside. In Pakistan, uh, women have uh, the best opportunities for education. Bangladesh is an Islamic country, is a Muslim country. Uh, they have had two prime ministers who are women. That has not taken away their Islamic character. So nor will that happen in Afghanistan. And how worried are you about the prospect of American troops withdrawing by May the 1st? before any kind of agreement is done, if no agreement they, is done. They then. shouldn't. If the Americans want to withdraw, and withdraw completely, uh, they must be responsible in making sure that there is no chaos or that things don't go from bad to worse, and that they should, must work with the uh, major powers and the countries of the region to get that done, which the, I see now they're doing. But if they want to stay in Afghanistan beyond, uh, uh, you know, May 1st into the long term in any form, that too has to be responsible. Isn't the danger that if America stays on beyond May the 1st, then violence will escalate even further? The Taliban will see it as a breach of the Doha Agreement and resort to attacking international forces and perhaps these terrible large-scale suicide bombings in the cities that we I, I have hope, seen less I, of. I, I hope not. I hope not. I hope not. And I'll be uh, calling upon the Taliban, our brothers, uh, our countrymen, uh, not to do that. that. That the damage will only be to Afghanistan and Afghans. And I would say the same to the Afghan government. Many people often draw comparisons between the Soviet withdrawal and the possible U.S. withdrawal now. 
of course that one was followed by awful violence. Do you see that yes. comparison? Do you fear that history repeating itself? Well, if, if things are not taken care of, if intentions are not good, of course that will happen. But we as Afghans must not, must, not, must not allow that. And we also hope that our neighbors and big powers should not do that because the consequences <clears throat> of that will not only be for us, but it will reach them as well. Your, your overall tone seems relatively optimistic or yes. guarded optimism. Yes. Is, that, is that fair to say? But when yes. I speak to so many other people here, they seem much more pessimistic. But when I'm optimistic, I've always been optimistic. I will give up being optimistic. What, 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 what else do we have? 